What's going on guys, my name is Quinn and today we're going to be taking a look at this guy, the Bioway TW1022 Star Leader. This guy is a knockoff version of the Studio Series 44 Optimus Prime from Transformers Dark of the Moon. Now you guys might be asking, wait, have you reviewed this already? Well, yes, technically yes, I have reviewed this guy already, but it is the version 2. Now, what I have here right now is the version 3. We supposedly fixed a lot of the quality control issues and the plastic quality of that version 1 and version 2 of the release. So I'm going to be, going to be doing a re-review of BioWare Star Leader as a whole because my original video is not very informative and I was just, just yapping into the entire video and it was way too long. Yeah, we're going to be reviewing this guy with of course some useful information. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's, it's useful and some added new information for this particular version 3. So first of all, let's talk about the detail first. The detail on this guy is amazing. So the the non faceplate version of this guy, yeah, I still don't like uh, his non faceplate look, but it is still sculpted really detailed on the mouth like there. It's really nice. And down to the chest area, and I'm using the 07 chest plate. We'll talk about that more in a bit. And we have some nice blue paint application, mechanical details also as well. And this feet is also die cast. We have to take a look at the back, and you get to see some more of this metallic silver paint that they use. It's just super good and the most mechanical detail and stuff like that. So in terms of detail, it is practically the same as the original Studio Series 44 figure slash 32 or even the Byways uh, or previous reissues. Now a little fun fact for you guys, when I first got this figure, they sent me the wrong version. They sent me the version 2. So I was really really surprised when I, when I got the version 2 instead of the version 3. Oh, there's some more breakage. Look at that. There's still breakage on my copy. Wait, this is the total version 2. What? And the hand broke off. Look at that, the hand broke off. Again. And they agreed to give me a replacement. So I sent them guys the they sent them the version 2 back and then they gave me the version 3, which is what I have here right now. And the first, and then of course I'm gonna talk about the what things inside the box it came with. So the first we have the manual and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be clear with you guys. I don't recommend using this instruction to transform this guy because here's the thing. Somewhere along the lines, it reverts back to step 12, which is bizarre and then continues doing the same transformation sequence. This is this is doing all throughout the instruction. This is based on the Studio Series figure, figure by the way. This is different than the uh, original release. It is it is super weird. Am I dumb? But the, the transformation sequence on this instruction manual is a bit bizarre, which is not what you're gonna do. The, 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 purpose of instruction manual is to tell you guys step by step from beginning to end which I don't know why so I recommend that you guys watch some YouTube videos on a tutorial on how to transform this guy or just search up Studio Series Story to review and then just see the transformation sequence because it literally is the same. Speaking of faceplate we have this guy which is also their faceplate from different from the, the difference from the original V2 is that V3 the out of the box it came in this non faceplate version and all you gotta do is just you can hold the head and then just snap it off really easily unlike the version 2 you can take it off and change it into his faceplate version and this is how our envision optimus prime would look with the faceplate look at that it is like the studio series 32 slash 44 figure which is real nice i'm gonna keep this guy with the faceplate on because that's how i prefer my optimus to look Next we got his SS44 chest piece, now this is what I mean. So we're gonna take this off, take the windows out, and then you can take off this chest piece, like so. And then you can just plug in his Studio Series 44 figure. Now you can push it a little bit down, there you go, you can push it down and then close it in. And there you go, that is an awesome look of his Studio Series 44 rendition look. And we're gonna see some more nice detail on the chest area over there, nicely sculpted and everything. But I, of course, I would much rather have this guy with his 07. And what I recommend is not using a, a knife or something like that. I would recommend you guys to use a part separator or like a plastic or something to separate this guy because this, on my copy, it's a bit hard to take it out. So there we go. Yeah, so I recommend using a part separator to release that. And I much prefer his 07 look as opposed to his Dark of the Moon look. This is me. But you guys can take it. You can, it's just inter interchangeable, and you can put it whatever you guys you want to like. This we got his SS44 swords. Now, as you can see, he has a handle that Optimus can hold, and you can put this guy on the handle, and just like so. And the hand is a bit stiff on my copy, 
but it's not real overly hard like the uh, previous reissue where you have to literally have to sand it down but no you don't need to sand it down you can just plug it in and it's a bit stiff and Optimus Ram looks nice with the sword no you get you get a two of these and also you get another one this 07 sword this is based on the SS05 figure not entirely from SS05 because it's missing some of the silver detail that uh, the metal got metal silver that they had on the SSO5, this doesn't have one, it's just hollow. So yeah, so you can plug this on the hand, you can untap this guy, and then plug this from the bottom, slide it in, close this up, and there you go. You have Optimus Prime version, which is SSO5 sword, which I, this is my preferred sword. It is my preferred sword for posing, because this is how I first saw Megatron in the live action movies. This sword just came out under the wrist hand. And I really like how this integration of the sword really is. I just really love it. It comes out of forearm by plugging it into the bottom of this hand. Just super nice. Looks like how it looks in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen PS2 game. If you guys have one of you guys played that, that's it's one of my childhood favorites. You guys have heard me saying throughout this review that I mentioned like V1, V2, V2, or stuff like that. What I mean is, is this bad boy. So this is the original version 2 of Bioway Star Leader. And oh my god, like I've had this guy for a couple days now and I gotta tell you I have a lot of fun posing this guy than I did with version 2 because there's a lot of this is a minor differences between this the version 2 and version 3 such as the paint app. So as you can see this on the blue side like the thighs over here is a bit glossy than the version 2 because this is I have some matte like texture. This is super glossy. You, you cannot tell this on camera but in person this one is super glossy. And then the Dyes and things like that. They use a gum metal gray that they use instead of like light gray, it's like in the arms, like in the uh, chest area. Area. Some of those parts now are painted in gum metal gray instead of like light gray or something like that. And the feet and the back is painted in metallic silver on the version three, unlike in version two where it just uses the gray, unpainted gray, which is super ugly. And also the version two has a little bit more paint apps than the version three. Such as some gold highlights on the shoulders, some also gold highlights on this faux light piece and stuff like that. And even some gold highlights on the grail piece on the truck mode, like that. But on, by the way, in the version 3, it is missing some paint apps. But, I'm not mad about the missing paint apps because what we got here is a little bit more, a little bit less paint app than version 2. But, with the improved plastic quality, which is... Which is, which is I, I, I just love it better as you can see but you have some more new paint apps like this there's a blue section on his other movies where in version 2 it is not painted so this one is more accurate to the movie because it is painted blue in the movie and the most glaring part that is different is that the neck piece the neck piece on version 2 is made out of clear plastic while in version 3 it is made out of solid blue now that is how you differentiate between version 3 and version 1 so if you want to buy this figure also as well, I would recommend to take a look at the neck piece over here. Look, I, I highly recommend you. So if you saw it, if you saw the listing in clear plastic on the neck, that means you got either version one or version two. Most most likely version two. And then on if you if you saw it on blue plastic, touch this one, then you got you you probably get the version three, which is the better quality version, the better feeling version. Than the previous iteration, like version one or version two, this guy is a this guy is amazing. I I had a lot of fun posing this guy again than I did with version two. What I like about this one too, also, is all that they imp that by the way also improved this thing. So if we take out this unturned from this guy, you will see that here they are pinned because in the original version one and version two, this guy on this part, as you can see, is not pinned because it is easily. Movable as I guess it is easily movable on this part. It is not that it is the left one, it is, and yeah, it's easily removable, especially on some copy. On some people's copy, is that they you can there's no effort on trying to release that, so it is a major, major flaw. So I'm really glad that they actually fixed it by adding a pin on here, so it, you know that it is so that it's secure and it will not pop up easily. And also, this guy snaps into place as you can see on this position. So no need to worry about fiddling with the back piece anymore. I like the I like the version too.
and it can withstand rough plays. I have had a few, few tumbles on this guy already, but nothing breaks. The joints are super stiff, nothing breaks because in the original V2 and V1 vigor, this hand uh, is the one that commonly snapped off, especially out of the box. And this guy, I had it out of the box, is super secure, it doesn't snap off, and I'm really, really glad to see it. Alright, let's talk about the posability on this guy. So first of all, the head is on a ball joint, so you can look up that far and look down that far. You can take out the window over here and make it look even more up, especially on some area poses and stuff like that. You got a shoulder rotation over here, the, the, the this thing, the shoulder piece can move up and down independently and then the shoulder can move up about that far. You have a bicep rotation, a 90 degree bend at the elbow and some wrist articulation. This is a bit loose than other than this one, but it's okay. You got a limited waist swivel, but if you move the wheels a little bit, you have some really wide waist swivel can kick forward and it can kick back but it was hindered by this real piece and then also can move in and out you have a thigh rotation a bend at the knee very fast 90 degrees and this shoulder can move independently and then the feet can move up that far down really really far to do it for transformation and then some nice side to side and so you can also move here but that's more for transformation. So in terms of possibility, it is still exactly the same as the pre as the uh, SS32/44, and it's still exactly the same as the previous Byway really issue. And here for Samus comparison, here it is Byway Star Leader with my SS Figures Marvel Spider-Man, my previous review the Byway Supreme Leader or the Knockoff Sentinel Prime, and my Byway Star Leader version 2, which will be out of the job after this video. Overall, on the robot mode, this is a solid improvement to Bioways uh, version 1 and version 2. This is an exceptionally figure. This is more worth it to get now, like unlike before where you have to rethink a little bit. Uh, so even so, with all the rough plays that I have with this guy, you still need to be very careful since this is also still a knockoff. Now let's transform this guy. I'll do a separate video transforming this guy step by step, but now I'll just point out some things I don't like transforming this. It's fiddly! Transforming this figure is not enjoyable. Unlike with SS54 where everything has a clear place to go, this doesn't. Yes, of course, the hand has to go to the front and stuff like that, but it's not as clear and you do need a bit of adjustment before having the hand together. I did not enjoy transforming this at all, but it's more so a Hasbro problem than rather Bioways problem because everything here taps in and fit nicely, so it's just an engineering problem for Hasbro, for me at least. So here it is guys, Bioway Star Leader TW1022 to transform into his Peterbilt 379 truck. And I gotta, I gotta give some comments about Hasbro for this guy. The engineering is, is, I still don't like it. I still don't enjoy transforming this guy into his truck mode. Because it is, it is, you can see the chest part before in the time lapse. It is really confusing on transformers. I'm not giving, I'm not bash on Bioway here because this is, Clearly Hasbro's engineering, and I still don't enjoy it. I still enjoyed transforming Studio 354 Megatron. The, of course, I have the Byway version in Arkov, but the engineering is still based on Hasbro's Studio 354, which is much better than this guy. Overall, I still think that this truck looks nice. The some metallic silver that they use is still nice. Of course, there's no Autobot insignia for obvious legal reasons, and instead of clear plastic on the window, it is now painted in this silver metallic that they use, which is super nice, super super. Good. It's really good. And of course, the smoke stacks is increased, unlike in the original SS32 44. It is a bit smaller due to some safety reasons, safety regulations, stuff like that. And of course, on the back, it is still really ugly, but there's the, you can see the trailer hitch more on this this time. And you can plug in the trailer with this guy also as well. Which overall, it is really nice and better. I still don't like how this looks. It's a bit gappy. It seems like there is missing, and this stair thing over here, it is too far back. You need to be somewhere in the middle like this. I still don't like how this truck mode looks over the SS05, which I don't have yet. Which I still prefer the SS05 truck mode, which is this one, it fills the gap really, really easily. But then again, you lose the sacrifice on SS05 being the robot mode has some sacrifice, that ugly black hinge, while SS32 slash 44 don't. So, in terms of truck mode, not enjoying transformation yet, but, in, but when it's done, I still think it is really, really nice. A little bit of substance comparison, here it is uh, alongside my SHG Guards Marvel Spider-Man. And here it is alongside Byway Supreme Leader. And I think in terms of size, this is accurate. No, I don't think so. I think 
I don't know, you guys you guys can be a judge of this in terms of size. I think the truck mode needs to be a little bit, bit bigger. And I'm not gonna compare this with my previous version too because like because I do not want to risk breaking the hand again. So this is what you guys are gonna get. Overall in terms of truck mode, this guy taps in very very nicely. Everything taps in, it is a snuff but nothing is really loose and you can come done and as you can see it is super nice and I do really think that this guy is better than the version 2 like in, in almost in every aspect but anyway if you guys want to transform this guy back to robot mode I recommend that you when you're trying to untap this guy is to be careful because there's the prone on the tap on here prone to break so what I like to do is push this part over here and then also simultaneously sliding it to the left side and also pulling it so it should do like this so of course the tap part is a bit thick also as well so you want to untap this guy real quick and then just push this piece because this is what you do and then slowly just as you can see there you go and just push this down and then slowly pull it to the side you don't want to risk breaking the tab over here so what I recommend sending this down and this part down so that it be easily removable but also still have a snap fit so some final thoughts on this guy I would say this is better now this is 10 times better than the version 1 and version 2 and I do recommend if you guys getting this if you missed out on the original mold because the original mold has been out of stock for quite some time and it is very very expensive in the aftermarket it's very hard to find and yeah if you are if you just want to have another SS32-44 mold on your collection and if you just want to get this guy you know for the stand or something this is pretty good I think like I said before if you guys want to get the version 3 make sure you take a look at the neck if it's made out of solid blue plastic it is the version 3 and I heard that Bioware also made the metallic version which is supposed to have some more glossy paint and a lot of more die cast part but I'm not gonna plan I'm not planning to get it because first of all it's a bit more expensive and then second of all it's, it doesn't really readily available here in my country at least on my local sellers who sellers yeah, so in terms of everything, I think this guy is an absolutely worth it bigger than before. So I have no doubts recommending you guys to get this guy if you are planning on getting it. If you are planning on getting it, of course. Yeah, I, th I think that's going to be pretty much it about this by the way, Star Leader, TW1022 as a whole, and also the review of the version 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.